Newsflash, we're in a very competitive market. When making an offer on a home, know when to hold them and know when to fold them. The words of the late Kenny Rogers must be in your vernacular when navigating this competitive market. Hey, thanks for checking me out today. As always, please like, subscribe, comment below if you haven't done before. I work very hard to answer all your comments and will forever be grateful for your engagement. Across social media channels of choice, just click like, find me, I'm there, at JKCO Realtor. Today, we find ourselves in a competitive market. Multiple offer scenarios are almost the norm. This is at times very, very stressful for a buyer. There are certain things you can do to sweeten your offer. The inspection. I always suggest my buyers obtain a full inspection of the property they're buying. This is not a time in a competitive market to be nitpicky on those cosmetic items or easy fixes. Number one, the seller is going to be less likely to make any improvements if you ask for all the little stuff. And let's not forget, you beat out someone who is anxiously awaiting their opportunity to swoop in and take your place. An immediate separator for some offers is to ask for only major health and safety, structural and mechanical items. This not only puts you in a group ahead of everyone else, but also is that's what the seller's gonna consider anyways. Next, we have appraisal gaps. Sometimes this is possible, sometimes it's not. It's always a nice option if you're putting a little extra than the minimum down, say you're putting 4% on a 3% or 25% on a 20%. It may be possible to look at the paper on the day we make the offer and nothing changes if the appraisal comes in a little bit low. We can talk about that. Sometimes, if we're at the minimum down payment, that would require cash out of pocket. Not always possible and not always gonna happen in the end, but something that really boosts people's offer up to the top. Flexibility with possession. This is a huge one and sometimes a free way to move to the top. When you buy a home, your first payment is not due until the first day following the first full month you have owned the home. In some cases, that means you're making your first payment 50 plus days after the closing. Side note, you do pay the interest from the day you bought the home to the last day of that month at the closing table. But nonetheless, if your move-in date is flexible, this can oftentimes be a leg up regardless of, of the above items in inspection and appraisal. One, another creative item may be offer higher earnest money amount or make earnest money non-refundable at certain times through the transaction. This is risky, but often shows that you are willing to bet on yourself and your lender, in turn, giving the seller incentive to pick your offer over someone else's. Not always advised, but is definitely a far less used strategy than some of the above. How quickly can we close? It is best to have the fastest possible closing time frame in mind. Talk to your lender, see what they can make happen. Most sellers want a quick close, some want a slower close. We can navigate if we know right away how quickly your lender can close the deal. The number one thing that I do for my buyers is call the listing agent, build a relationship with them, and find out if there are any other things that would go over the top for the seller. The basic above are obvious and often mentioned, but is there something else that would put us over the top? Also, if I build that relationship with the agent, we may not win the first battle, but if the first offer fails in front of you, they will always call the people they remember to be in line for a backup. At the end of the day, this is going to be a crazy process for you. If you come into it prepared with your rules already, you know what we can and can't do, what we can and can't offer, it will be much less stressful. Then you have to remove some of the emotion from the situation and look at it logically. Paying over asking price is not the end of the world unless it stretches you too thin. There are often times in my dealing that the relationship I have built with realtors over the phone or in the past will allow us the last crack at the best house. But ultimately, you have to know when to go all in and hold them, and also when it may be better, just fold it, throw in the offer, and move on to the next. We can find you a much better fit if it gets too crazy. Talk to you soon.